Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So today's video, so you want a Spectrum Next. Um, the reason I'm doing this video is I've done a lot of Spectrum Next videos recently and I keep getting asked the same question. Why can't I buy a Spectrum Next? Right, here we go. Basically, Spectrum Next was a kickstarting program um, which allowed you to get the Spectrum Next. There's been two uh, allocations, uh, Kickstart 1, Kickstart 2. They've both been filled, so you can't buy a Spectrum Next from the company anymore. There might be a Kickstart 3 in the future, but I wouldn't hold your breath. So the only way you're going to get the physical Spectrum Next, as it is in the picture there, is to buy one secondhand. You just can't buy one. Now a lot of people are like, well that's stupid because I want to buy one. Well it's not because it's a Kickstarter, it's not a company that are basically, you know, like, I kind of think of a company like Commodore or Sinclair, who want to build a computer and get it out of the audience. Um, so you had your chance with Kickstarters, but if you're late to the party, you're not going to get one. So where do we go from there? So like I say, you can buy one second hand um, or you can buy an Engo board. An Engo board is literally a clone version of the Spectrum Next board. It's identical. Literally everything works. It's 100% compatible. It's the same size, form factor and everything. You could literally take the ZX Spectrum Next board out and put that one in and nobody would know. You just wouldn't know. Now, I do understand people want the Spectrum Next case. You just can't have it. So, a few people have made cases and uh, this is probably one of the best ones. Um, it's the Engo case with a customized keyboard, which is a lovely keyboard. And it's made out of acrylic, so it keeps the cost down. So you can either do it yourself or you can contact Manuel from that web page and he will actually put the board together for you in the case so it comes as is in this video here. Um, there you go. Don't have to tinker around. Now, if you want to tinker around, that opens up the doors to loads of options. You can put the Engo board in a ZX Spectrum case. You do have to alter the case slightly by cutting some holes into the case. If you're not very good at that sort of thing, um, you can buy ZX Spectrum cases that have already been done, which are replicas. You can also take a Spectrum Plus case and do the same to that as well. So it'll fit in a, a normal original Spectrum case, a Spectrum Plus case, and I have seen some people put it in a Spectrum Plus 2, but you can it at the moment nobody's worked the way of doing it get the tape deck to work with the end goal board so there is options there it all comes down to are you the customer who wants the actual next case as it is because it's beautiful and i understand that or like me are you somebody who doesn't really care about the case too much as long as i can actually use it now if you don't want to spend any money dead easy use emulation software run it on your pc um, all the games will work um, pretty much. Um, go to the web page, follow the instructions, download, set it up, and you've got a full spectrum next working under emulation on your PC. Quite simple. Uh, and that's free. You don't have to pay. Um, it, it's, you know, it's a win win win. Now, feeling that, you've got other options. So you can't get a spectrum, don't want to play eBay prices. You do want an Engo board, so you can go to a Mr. FPGA. Now, this isn't cheap. And if you're not used to building hardware, I wouldn't recommend you doing it because it is pretty simple, but if you're not used to it, you need several parts. Basically, it's three main boards put together with some memory. Um, then you put it into a case. Now, the upside is it might be round about the 300 to 400 pound to build it yourself 500 pound depending on who you talk to and where you're getting it from for a full build system of all the software on um but it's not just a spectrum next it's a full arcade emulation kit it's um every computer you can pretty much think of which 16-bit and 8-bit amigas commodore 64s um spectrums spectrum next everything's all on there so it is a 
a great option but like i say not for the person who's never done it before um, if you've literally can't build one yourself you can go on ebay and you can buy them already built but as you can see wow 500 pounds jeez i built mine for about 300 quid um i went for the the smaller memory module because you only need the bigger one really if you're going to play neo geo games i've got no interest in neo geo so i didn't bother um so just to recap so if you're new to the spectrum next and you want one you cannot buy a spectrum next as is at the minute now that's going to change because obviously kickstarter 2 machines will be hitting people around august time and some people might get rid of their first ones that's your only option or ebay second option buy an engo board put it in a case for manuel if not put it in a zx plus case looks great third option get an engo board and go what i did that's my spectrum next i wanted a big keyboard i wanted plenty of room and that's the way forward so there you go guys as always massive thank you to everybody thanks for liking and subscribing keep it up the channel's grown and um, we've just hit the 400 mark the spectrum plus competition uh, will be drawn in the next well this weekend it's e3 so i'm really busy i'm making some content for that and um, but and um, the winners will be notified hopefully by the end of this weekend so sunday night and um, again thanks guys for all the support as always very humbled and uh, we'll see you soon